It was good Olivia. The girl and her family is also very nice. And you know this so well. My father never listens to me, he is just a puppet in the hands of Auntie Emily. He always listens to her, and played very well. I'm so helpless in front of them. Yes. Auntie Emily and Mason is behind this all. They thinks, I'm grabbing your money and spending on my family. Which is a fake and lame thing. Why should I do this all Peter? This is just their misunderstanding. Yes exactly, Olivia they're of the same thoughts. I don't know who feed them about this all things. But, I can't do anything on this matter. I can't change their thinking in its course. But please, you stay calm now. We both know it's not right at all. Peter. But I also have some limits, how much I can bear this all useless things against me and my family. I don't know, why they don't like me and my family. We have done nothing. Well, leave this all. And tell me, what you people do there at that girl house, and Peter? Have you did any commitment there? Please don't you ever think about it please. Oh no no Olivia. I'm not a stupid man. I know the facts and realities. Our son is not stable at all for any kind of commitment at all. I just met them, greet them and came back to my home. I also know, Leo is not a normal man, who can handle any marital life. Yes Peter. You know the condition of our son Leo. We are his parents, we also wants to see him as a groom. But it can't be happen right now, just because of his mental condition. He became out of control, when he lose his temper, and get unbalanced. Even we can't get over him. And you just tell me this, there are so many things after the marriage. How we will make him understand this all. How he will get to learn all these things. I hope you are getting my point Peter. There are so many needs and affection between new married couple. What will happen, when our son can't be able to provide anything to that girl? Then we don't know. How that girl will react to this. Also her life will be just like a doll, a puppet in the hands of others. She will feel herself in a cage not in a happily married life. Think about it, it's a very serious issue. I know this Olivia. I know this all so well. But who gonna make this understand to Auntie Emily and my father too? They both don't want to listen anything right now. But, you please don't worry. Everything will be settled soon. For now. We have to avoid them both. But, I wonder about Mason. He have no wisdom. He knew well about Leo and his sickness. But, what is his advantage in doing this all? Why he wants to spoil the life of that poor innocent girl? What's his character in this all happenings? I should confront it with Mason first. He is the main person who is creating mess in this matter and guiding my father and his own mother. I must talk to him now and ask him to stop feeding these both sister and brother. Your family is full of odd people. Don't mind it. But it's the reality. Bonnie, have you done your breakfast? If yes, then I'll drop you at your office. Yes, I have done my breakfast, but you tell me this why you are so happy. What's the matter? And where you have been yesterday? You don't want to see me happy, hon? And yesterday I went with Mama and Uncle Fred to meet someone. And who is that? Where you have gone? And for what? I feel there is something is cooking, which I'm not aware of. Tell me the truth now, Mason. What you are up to? What it could be, my dear wife? Why you are doubting on me? Well, we went to meet with a family for the proposal of Leo. We go there to meet with a girl for Leo. Oh my goodness. Mason. Mason. I don't know what is the problem with you and your mother. You both are totally out of this world. Is Leo is capable of being married? Come on Mason, grow up, what's wrong with you? He can't get married. Don't you know his mental health and lose temper nature? He is not a normal man at all. Why you people are doing this? What is your interest in spoiling others lives Mason? Hey Bon, stop this now. You are my wife. You have to be on my side. And it's not my will. It's Uncle Fred's will. He wants to marry his grandson. What's so wrong in this? This is his decision. Who we are to say anything? Oh please stop it. I know you so well Mason. And your mother. She is very smart. Anna. 
There is a good news for you, my dear wife. Oh, wow. What is that? Tell me, please. Our grandson, Leo. He is getting married soon. I saw a girl's proposal for him, and I hope we will finalize this soon. Isn't it great? What? But Leo is already married and he have four kids. Then, why you are remarrying him? This is real bad. Don't do this. Okay, okay. You leave it. Have you taken your medicine? <laughs> okay then. I'll wear a red dress then in his wedding. Peter should get married now. It's already very late. I'm talking about Leo, not Peter. Leo is Peter's son. Our grandson. Anna, don't you remember him? Whatever. Well, now I want to have some hot chocolate. Go and bring it for me. Okay, okay. I'll get it for you. So dude, nowadays you are very busy in merry making matters, Mason? Nice work, my dear. You should close this security company and make a marriage center. It will work good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mason, I came to your office many times in the last previous days. But your assistant always says, Mr. Mason is busy in merry making matters. Wayne. Yes, my assistant was saying 100% right. Nowadays I'm very busy in some kind of high mission. <clears throat> high mission? I didn't get it. What is your mission? Wayne, you know about my relatives. My maternal uncle Fred and his son, Peter? Yes, yes, what happened to them? Wayne, you know Richard as well, he work in my company as a security guard. Yes, that poor old man is it? Yes, exactly that poor old man. He have a daughter, who is very pretty and educated. Her name is Layla. In few weeks, I'll going to marry her with my cousin, Peter's son, Leo with her. Therefore, I'm inviting you in advanced. Into the wedding ceremony of Leo. Leo weds Layla. Oh God, what are you saying Mason? Leo that Peter's son. How it can be even possible man? I know you're all relatives and Leo is not mentally stable and in fact he is an abnormal person. How Richard and his family agreed for this marriage? And Mason, what are your benefits in that? Like why you are doing this all? You are spoiling Richard's daughter life. How she will survive with an abnormal man. Now listen, Layla belongs to a very poor family. And Richard is totally under control of mine. Through Layla. I can operate Fred's business and everything. They are poor people, striving for their bread and water, and this a jackpot for them. They will only follow my orders and they will do the same, as I have directed them. Because when you know about my cousin Peter and his in-laws they are very sharp-minded people. They have some huge plans for this all. They just want after the demise of Uncle Fred and Peter. They become all in all of Fred's business and take over the control on every single thing. Of course they will, because of Olivia, she is Peter's wife. Leo is an unrecoverable man. And even he have no sense to let his wife pregnant. You are getting my point isn't it so? Of course through Layla is my chess woman. I can do many things and handle them accordingly. Because she will be the wife of Leo. And Leo is the only heir of Fred and Son's company. And then? After this all? What you'll do Mason? What after that? Of course after few years, due to Leo cheap stunts Layla will get the divorce from him. And before her divorce I will take control on everything. You know when. Every single thing through her. And if Layla get a baby. And Leo becomes normal then, what you'll do Mr. Mason? Just think for a while about this too. <laughs> it sounds like. A cat beat an elephant in a fight. This is impossible Wayne impossible. You don't know about Leo. Sometimes. He becomes worst. More than a wild animal. And you are saying Layla will stay with him whole his life. What a joke man. It can't be possible. Seriously Mason. You are an evil genius person. Like, you have already cooked every single fact and it is ready to serve into the plate, when it's needed. Even nobody can reach at your thinking. How you play it in this ground. I never ever seen a smart person like you in my life. That's why I'm your biggest admirer. Like we can say this is a fake marriage or a scam marriage? Yes you are saying that right, we can call it a fake marriage. Just keep this plan a secret close to you and me. Don't even share with your wife. 
Are you mad? Why I'll discuss it with anyone. It's a friend's secret. Just watch my play dude. Mr. Mason is seriously a gemstone. He called me and said, Richard please you don't worry about marriage and its expenses. I'm always here for you. Yes Richard you were saying right. He is a gemstone. An angel into our life. Well, you have to go to the market for the shopping. And they will go to Sir Mason. He wanted to meet with me. Okay sure Richard. I'm so happy Layla sissy. <laughs> Paul you are more happier than me. Of course I am. I will buy many things on your wedding. My all cousins will come, and we will enjoy on your wedding to full. I'm so happy for you my dear sister Layla. Yes sir you wanted to see me? Yes Richard you can go to my uncle's house. Leo's grandfather. He is calling you for the date fixing. Sir, if you don't mind. Can I say something? Yes sure Richard why not dear? Sir, my wife Patty was saying to me last night. We should meet Leo as well, before fixing the date for the wedding. Because you have only show us the picture. We want to meet Leo directly. We want to talk with him, see him. Mean you have no trust in me? No no sir it's not like that. Actually Patty said this to me. And my daughter also want me the boy. I think you people are not interested in this proposal then let me know. I will clearly tell this to Uncle Fred and Peter as well. And I'll also tell them you people don't want this marriage. They can find any other bride for Leo somewhere else. I'm getting your point Richard. No no sir don't say this. Okay I'm going to meet with Mr. Fred for date the fixing. Relax please. Hello guys, this is me Sayyid Mohsin Raza from Naja Cartoons uh, and thanks for supporting my channel and uh, I must request to you uh, please continue your support to Naja Cartoon and keep subscribe, like, share my channel. Thank you.